painting this room. I'm very excited. All of my prep work for the most part is done. I have to come over here and check this giant panel and make sure this is all flat. And then there were a couple other little spots that I needed to check. But that's a good sign because that means we're at a point where I need to paint and get all this painted. Um, we still haven't done anything with the ceiling because we were doing plumbing yesterday. No, yesterday we had the kids. So we didn't do anything. Um, not like product, super productive. I have to just make sure my corners are all good. This is as good as it's gonna get, guys. I'm just gonna paint it all up and see what it looks like. <laughs> this will be fun. Um, but yeah, this will be really nice when it's all done. I can't wait. I guess I should do a, uh, this is a before. Do, 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 do. Except at some point we're gonna have to like do the ceiling. That would be really nice. But the yellow will be good to go. Steve's very excited about the yellow leaving. Ta-da! I've done a lot of sanding. And now it's really starting to rain. We were going to get our roof done today, but it's raining and it's cold. So I don't think we're gonna get our roof done for like another four weeks. <laughs> Just the thought. Just the thing. So let's paint. Being a good boy. Look at that cute smile. You're such a good boy. Ta da! Wow, it has just changed the color of this dormer extremely. You should come see it, Steve. I'm excited to see what it looks like when the yellow is not oof in this room. I need one more coat on the ceiling and one more coat on the walls. So I'm gonna do one more coat up top first and get that done. And then I'll do one more coat on that wall and then this corner will be done until I do the trim. Now it may look like, cause I'm sure there are some people out there saying, Allie, you are a terrible painter <laughs> because you didn't, you didn't tape anything off. You didn't do any of this, you didn't do any of that. Well, guess what? I'm going to come back in here and paint this anyway. So I wanted to make sure that I covered as much of the yellow as I could so that when I do go back through, I don't have to touch up again with the blue paint. So that's why I painted like a sloppy, sloppy painter, even in like places like this. That whole theme, I will more than likely do by hand because I can't help myself. And then all of this will have to get repainted. But I picked out a trim color. We just haven't picked it up yet because I didn't think that I'd be doing trim, but I can't paint this room until we do the ceiling. It's really windy today. Yeah, I need to figure out when we're gonna remove the ceiling. Yep, that needs to happen so that I can paint, because I have to paint the ceiling before I paint the walls. And I may have to do some repair up around here. Anyway, but the dormer is done. Like as far as like any sort of repair or anything, this is almost done. I just have one more coat and one more coat and then the trim, which I have sanded quite a bit. Um, but it was interesting. Some of the places that I had to like get with some of the paint, like all under here had to be painted. And then I'll have to come in here with a tiny little brush. And I do have a very little detail brush, but it is downstairs. But I, it's, it's amazing what a difference this color makes in here. It'll look really good with the floor too. When it's all, which is why I haven't finished sanding the floor. It's cause look, I've already got paint on the floor. <laughs> so that'll all sand up. But that's why we're painting now because I'm gonna have to redo all of this stuff anyway. Oh, 
I painted your wires. <laughs> I hope you're okay with that. Oh, that bit of the insulation is falling. <laughs> so you never see it. At least I didn't cover up your labels. That's good. I do appreciate that, because if you did that, that would be a bit challenging. Are you okay, bud? Did you eat something you were not supposed to? Probably strange from this toy. Mmm. Hi. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. How do you like it, Steve? It looks good. You really like it? It's blue. It's very blue. And as we can see, I have taped a couple of lines here um, so that I can get my ceiling nice and straight, which is this one and that one. So now I have to wait for them to dry, and then Steve actually taught me this X-Acto trick, so I'm going to cut between the tape and the paint with an X-Acto, and hopefully I'll get a pretty straight line. And then I'll go back, I of course brought my tiny little brush down, but I'll go back with like a regular tiny little brush, like a regular paint brush, like just a tiny paint brush. So I'm just waiting for that to dry because I literally just painted it. And then once that is done, I have to tape it in the opposite direction and then do my last coat on these walls. Um, Steve has said that we might go out tonight and get the trim color. Yes. Which is good. And now you're off work. Yes. Yay! So he can actually do a project today instead of just coming in and visiting. Yes. That would be great. I'm Hi, Jet. I'm You're not supposed to be in here, are you? But you're both in here. You're not supposed to be in here, are you? Look <laughs> at that face. How can we say no to that face? It's very easy. No. Get out. <laughs> Come on. You're not supposed to be in here yet. We're not done. So obviously you can see that the floor hasn't been finished, but that's because we're painting. And then Steve likes this dark blue so much that's on these walls that he actually wants to do an accent wall now. But it's a matter of which, you really want to do this one? Well. Or do you want to do this one? You could do that one too. His bed's going up against this one. Right, it's gonna have a smaller footprint. Right. And then I could paint something pretty on it with like the white color. Mm -hmm. And then make like a fancy design off to one side or something. That could be cool. Yeah, you like that idea? Sorry, Wendy, I might have just stolen your idea. <laughs> She's doing the same thing in her bedroom, and I'm very excited for her, but I think I might do that here. You think she'll be mad? Probably not. So my project for today is going to be rerouting the kitchen sink drain, which currently comes out up here, and it was tied in through a weird series that you saw on the previous plumbing video. Uh, we relocated it uh, directly underneath where the sink actually is, in the cabinet up top it actually runs sideways and then comes down through this pipe and I think they were trying to miss this window uh, but as Ali said she doesn't care about this window and we put our trash cans in front of it anyway so we're gonna drop straight out of the ceiling here and then hook up with our new line uh, once that's done I can put my studs in front and actually get some support on this pipe so it doesn't bounce so much um, yeah so we'll have a couple things to do uh, we'll need to drill a hole approximately right up through here uh, I'll probably do that from below just because I have more access with the drill and then in the cabinet upstairs We will put some new fittings up there. So I'll go show you those uh, Down here you can kind of see Right now the drain runs off to the left and down which is what we saw below the kitchen sink actually You know being over here, so we're gonna try to go more straight down with the new run so um, the drain pipe will come up over in this area um, and then I'll redo this trap assembly with this new piece here. So that'll basically run back. Uh, and the other adapter is downstairs. So there's an adapter that goes into this inch and a half stack um, that adapts it to the under sink piece. So these two will plug into each other via that adapter. And then on top of this, I actually wired up a clean out plug, which for the time being can be used as a regular clean out. But then in the future, Whenever it's time to do the upstairs bathroom, what I'll be able to do is unscrew this clean out plug and then take a inch and a half pipe with a male adapter and thread it into this piece and then use it as a vent. 
and that way we actually have a proper vented sink and it'll drain a little bit better. I wish they'd actually cut holes for the other pipes too. Or do you want me just to pull this out of here? What do you mean cut hold? Oh, well yeah, you can pull it out. Or do you want me to cut for the, the packs as well? Well, you can do either. Like I haven't pulled that out yet, so if you wanted to see what it looked like, we could pull it out and see what the cabinet looked like underneath. Okay, because if it's terrible underneath, we could leave it. I think they were trying to hide that. Well, we've got enough stuff that it's like buried, so. Yay, garbage! I really don't like the way they did this. Like, there needs to be some kind of clamps that hold those. Mm hmm. Well, do you want to invest in fixing that now, or do you want to wait till we redo the kitchen? I might have something in my stash that I could just drive into the back of the cabinet. Mm-hmm. We don't need to worry about it immediately. Okay. Well, shit, son. <laughs> that was fast. It's a very heavy drill. <laughs> Hello! Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making the hole bigger. Oh, okay. This smells gross under here, by the way. Like, nasty. Hey, wait, did you cut two holes? What are the two holes for? Huh? There's two holes here. I mean, there's two holes. There's another one all the way over here. Or is that where the old pipe was? That's where the old pipe was. Oh! Ah! Ah! Uh, you hit the the other, like the water line. Go ahead, push. Push. What are you doing? Push. Okay. Yeah. There you go. That's good. Well, at least for now. Then you can come up and take a look. Well, come look. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> um, come see why I had you push it up. Oh, so that we clear that? Mm -hmm. I mean, you could put your elbow in and it would, you know, depending on how you wanted to. Ideally, this would be anchored in that position. Okay. So we would clear it. Right. Um, and that's what I was saying about I might have pipe clamps that I could use to anchor it to this crappy backboard. Okay. At least for the time being. Right, and we're okay with all these lines the way that they are and where they're located after this for the new installation? I mean, they'll work. I'm not super thrilled at the sloppiness, but... Well, we can fix it. We're going to reinstall the kitchen, so... Right. It's tough, because with dishwashers, you can't really have hoses that are much shorter, because then you can never pull the dishwasher out because the hoses. is... Like, you need enough length that you could pull the dishwasher out to service it. Well, could you hide that length somewhere else rather than in the cabinet? It might be possible or... to coil it behind the dishwasher itself right. instead of in here. Dog. Hey, you guys should pay attention to me and stop doing your project. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to need to get a different piece to do this because the piece I bought is not threaded and the trap is expecting a threaded coupling. Oh. Uh -oh. So I'll have to get a different one of these. Oops. So. Well, we're going back to go get paint anyway. Right, so I'll just get the plumbing part I need and we'll return that other one. Okay. Go for a ride, little man. Oop. Sorry, I almost hit you in the face. I almost hit you in the face. Are you go for a ride? Hmm? Are you excited? Are you going to climb up in my lap? Come on. Alright, this combination should do what I want. 
Uh, basically we'll have the trap going down from the sink. And then there's another seven inch arm here that'll go off to the side. And that'll hook up to this, which essentially will go back towards the wall. So essentially it would hook together like that and then go back into the wall. So hopefully that'll do what we need. It's nice, not you. <laughs> it's you get to say hi to everybody. So I was thinking about that bathroom we're gonna put in upstairs. I yes. don't know what color I want yet, and I was just about to start hunting for colors. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you came up. So you get all your plumbing parts. You're all good. Okay, cool. You should do a good boy. You've been well behaved. <laughs> all right, it should be a little bit easier to visualize what's going on here now that the stuff's not in bags anymore. Uh, this is the new P-trap assembly, which you saw in the one bag, and then this is the waste arm that was in the other one. So essentially, what I needed to do uh, was come down and over with the trap, and then this waste arm is going to hook on somewhere about here, but be pointing straight back towards this adapter here, which is then going to come up to be at this level. So I need to cut this guy to length, uh, and then I'll need to cut the other one to basically depth. And then I need Allie's help because I'll have to lift this pipe up to a certain, well, you cannot see it. And, and there it goes into the basement. <laughs> anyway, I'll need to measure the length on that uh, so that we know how high up we need it to meet up with our other pipe back here. And then I gotta do some gluing. Uh, this piece here, which is the, the trap adapter, will get glued in right there. Uh, there's a clean out plug here in the top that's gonna get glued as well. And then obviously the two inch line that comes down will get glued both into the, the base of this right here uh, as well as glued in in the basement as well. And then we're finally done with this project. Blood come out. All right, I got it. So how much left do you have to do? This is the last piece. That's it? Yep, that's it. How does this work? That goes on here. That wasn't tight yet, so... Are those two supposed to like... Oh, there's a, a bracket. I see. Yeah, it's not getting everything to line up. But... That's why nothing is tight yet. Yep. Just wanted to rough fit it all first. Make sure that we can get it. You like that better than what was in there? Mm -hmm. Think it'll be good for future expansion? Well, yeah, when we go to do the new sink, all of this will go away. Okay. And then most likely, we're going to do a two bowl sink, so there'll actually be a, a drain here and a drain here. Mm -hmm. This one will come over, and this one will basically just go down and back. So it'll actually be even better with the, uh, the new stuff. That one's not. <laughs> One time.